वेलकम टू ग्रेट टॉल केमिस्ट्री कोयागुलेशन ऑफ कोलोइडल सॉल्यूशंस द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कोलोइडल स्टेट रेस्ट ऑन एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज ऑन पार्टिकल्स वी ऑल नो दैट कोलोइडल पार्टिकल्स पोसेस इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज आइदर पॉजिटिव or negative in the case of positively charged or negatively charged colloidal particles on account of electrical repulsions the same charges always repels prevent the particles from approaching sufficiently close to one another we can represent this in this figure the electric charged positively charged particles they repel each other so that repulsion prevent them to come closer to each other and they sufficiently closer to one another and to collapse means getting the particle closer to each other and becoming a bigger mass when charge is neutralized or lowered to a critical value if a, a negatively charged particle get inside the colloidal particle there is neutralization of charge or lowering of the charge possessed by the colloidal particle when the charge get neutralized the colloidal particle approach close enough to become a big mass close enough to collapse and form bigger aggregates which lie outside the colloidal range this is represented in this figure the colloidal particle there is repulsive force when a negative charge come closer to the colloidal particle there is neutralization of the charge or the charge get lowered and this help the colloidal particles to come closer and become a bigger mass and this result in change of colloidal state to suspended state and this is called coagulation or flocculation of colloidal solution based on the charge of colloidal salts there there are positively charged colloidal salts and negatively charged colloidal salts positively charged colloidal salts are metallic hydroxide ferric hydroxide aluminum hydroxide chromium hydroxide then hemoglobin then salts of basic dye such as methylene blue and negatively charged colloidal salts are metal sulfide salts example arsenic sulfide cadmium sulfide starch salts and salts of acid dye such as conco red so coagulation or flocculation is actually the setting settling of colloidal particles the phenomena of colloidal stage to suspended state is known as coagulation or flocculation coagulation of colloidal salt is brought about by methods such as by boiling by the mutual action of salts by the action of electrolytes and also by persistent dialysis let us discuss the first method by boiling 
when colloidal salt is boiled when the salt is boiled the particles gain kinetic energy and there will be increased motion the colloidal particles collide with partic molecules of dispersion medium and when the collision happens the charge on particles get reduced or neutralized and particles settle down in the form of precipitate so by boiling the colloidal particles changes from colloidal state to suspension state and coagulation happens second method by the mutual action of salts when two salts carry opposite charge are mixed together in suitable proportions mutual precipitation occurs for example when negatively charged arsenic sulfide salt is added to positively charged ferric hydroxide salt the charges get cancelled or neutralized and collapse happens the precipitation of both salts takes place this is shown here arsenic sulfide when added to ferric hydroxide the charges get neutralized and precipitation of salts takes place now let us discuss the third method by the action of electrolyte if traces of electrolytes are essential for stability of salts the presence of large amount causes their coagulation the reason is that colloidal particle take up ions carrying charge opposite to that present on themselves this result in partial or complete neutralization of charge on particles leading to coagulation for example when aluminum sulfate is added to arsenic sulfide arsenic sulfide is a salt carrying negative charge when aluminum sulfate is added aluminum ion having positive charge neutralizes some of the charges on arsenic sulfide here partial or complete neutralization of charge on particle states place and particles come together and coagulate similarly aluminum when aluminum sulfate is added to ferric hydroxide ferric hydroxide is a positively charged salt sulfate ion neutralizes some of the charges on ferric hydroxide the neutralization of charge takes place and the particles the colloidal particles coagulate it has been found that greater the valency of flocculating ion the ion which causes coagulation is called coagulation or flocculating ion greater the valency of flocculating ion greater is its power to coagulate for example in the case of positively charged ions aluminum barium and sodium aluminum having greater valency plus 3 has a higher coagulating power than barium barium having plus 2 charge has a higher coagulating power than sodium similarly 
in the case of negatively charged ions ferrocyanide has a greater power to coagulate than sulfate sulfate has a greater power to coagulate than chloride ion the minimum concentration of an electrolyte required to cause coagulation of a salt is called flocculation value then flocculating or coagulating power is inversely proportional to flocculation value higher the flocculating value lower the coagulation power fourth method by persistent dialysis traces of electrolytes are associated with colloidal system and that is essential for its stability if the salts are subjected to prolonged dialysis these traces of electrolytes pass out through the dialyzer and the colloids become unstable and settle down thank you